Welcome to Tough Talk. My guests today are two individuals from ASA, staff directors Rukmini Banerjee and Willem Awadwa. And ASA is a leading education research multinational. Is that a fair description? <laughs> okay. Um, you know, you guys have been doing these reports on what is happening with education in India. Now I think it's for the fifth year. That's right. Um, so one of the results that I see from the papers and from the data is that Sita is going to school, but she's not learning as fast as she should be. Is that correct? And if so, what are some of the reasons? Um, that is correct. <clears throat> what we do is, uh, in Asar, we do ask very simple questions. Mm -hmm. Do you go to school? What kind of school? And we ask children to do a very simple uh, reading task and very simple arithmetic tasks. Uh, it's a survey which is done at home. Mm -hmm. So therefore we cover children who are out of school or in government school or in private school and we get a representative sample of children. What we are finding uh, is for the last five years that overall for India we seem to be stuck at a sort of a low level of learning. Uh, the national figure is for fifth standard uh, about little over 50 percent children can still not read simple text mm -hmm. at second standard level. Okay, now let me just interrupt there. Uh, and very simple arithmetic tasks. Uh, it's a survey which is done at home. Mm -hmm. So therefore we cover children who are out of school or in government school or in private school and we get a representative sample of children. What we are finding uh, is for the last five years that overall for India we seem to be stuck at a sort of a low level of learning. Uh, the national figure is for fifth standard uh, about little over 50 percent children can still not read simple text mm. at second standard level. Okay, now let me just interrupt there. Um, you've been doing this research in other countries. Do you find the same results? That is that only 50% or 60% are able to read. For example, in the US, you know, we know Johnny goes to school, but he can't read. Mm -hmm. So isn't this the same phenomenon? I, I think so. Um, some of the other countries that we have worked with is uh, Pakistan has done an ASAR. They have did it in 11 districts. And uh, Kenya, Tanzania and Uganda are getting ready to do that. Uh, the preliminary results that we have are only really from Pakistan and they are finding very similar mm -hmm. uh, things. So. Um, I think part of it is also that the debate on education in most countries has been focused on inputs. If we build enough schools, if we have enough reading materials, if we have enough teachers, this link to learning, this thing called learning will somehow happen. Mm -hmm. And it's only now that the focus is kind of shifting to actually measuring these learning outcomes. But isn't, Wilma, isn't that a major <clears throat> achievement actually for the last 30, 40 years? the thrust of uh, policy or even recommendations was we have to get the kids to school. Oh, absolutely. So now everybody is going to school. Absolutely. Is that totally correct? That's mm -hmm. right. And one of the motivations of us, sir, when it first started in 2005 was, if you remember, there was a budget by uh, Mr. Chidambaram which said from outlays to outcomes. Yes. Right? And we thought that this was the right time. We are all paying an education cess and uh, we as a country, we as citizens of India need to know now all our children are going to school, well, what is it that they are learning in school? And so this shift of the focus from inputs to outputs Good. is now happening. Okay. So, so we have established or basically everybody goes to school and the number, what is a dropout rate, for example? I mean, what days? we do, uh, what we can tell you is how many child, percent of children are not in school right now. Okay. Of that and age group. Of that age group. So mm -hmm. if you look at the 6 to 14 age group, across the country, the number is well above 95%. So it's 96%.